Hello and welcome to another edition of The Daily Shave. I'm your host for today, John, and I'm bringing you a shave with Chiseled Face Ghost Town Barber in the new Silk Tallow Formula. So Chiseled Face is a brand that's been wet shaving, uh, an artisan in wet shaving, since I want to say about 2014, in the early days of kind of this uh, modern resurgence of traditional shaving. Um, it's a scent, uh, Ghost Town Barber in particular, is a scent that is part of, kind of their, their flagship line. Um, in this case, this is a barber shop with uh, a strong scent of leather as well. It's a barber shop that you might find in the, in the Wild West. So before we get into the shave, let me show you what else I'm gonna to use today. So for the razor, we're gonna go vintage today. Maybe to you know, kind of pair the ghost town barber idea. Uh, we, it's a uh, Gillette Tech with a fat handle. Doesn't get too much more old school than that. Shaves like a wonder though. For the brush, we'll do a little something a little more modern. Um, this is the Omega Evo synthetic, synthetic brush. Omega though is a uh, very established brand uh, from Italy, uh, specializing in four, you know, um, Bore brush, bore, bore brushes rather. Uh, of course, they have some badger options, some th some th synthetic, some synthetic options as well. And this is a fairly new option. It's a very dense, not in my uses of it so far. Um, quite enjoyable. And lastly, for the post shave, Prorasso, the red one, uh, with the scent of sandalwood. So I'm going to wet the brush and load up from the soap tub and we'll talk a little bit more um, about today's shave. See it's the tub here as well with the side labels. And the color of the soap it looks kind of coffee ice cream to me. That's the color. Uh, this is not, you know, dark enough or anything that will uh, that you have to worry about dyeing the hairs on your um, on your on your shaving brush. But we're gonna go for maybe like a forty second load, give or take. I wet the brush and just gave a few shakes out of it, leaving it fairly wet. So what else can I tell you about this? Uh, so barbershop, uh, I, I know that might um, not mean a whole lot to some folks, but it's a very kind of classic scent, especially in the wet shaving space. Uh, oftentimes you find notes of lavender, oak moss. Uh, it's, it's very clean. Um, the scent kind of blends together. Some barbershops can be sweet. This one, um, what Chisel Face was going for, again, was uh, kind of that old uh, Wild West vibe. So, so, so leather is actually a prominent note here. So it makes for a very masculine scent. It darkens up Barbershop a little bit. And I think it really does uh, give it some, um, some uniqueness and it stands out a bit from um, other Barbershop scents you might find. So this is the load, and then we're gonna build a face lather. Now I will say this brush is fairly new to me. I've only gotten uh, one or two shaves before today with it. For a synthetic knot, it does have an, a decent amount of backbone. Just I'll try to splay it on my face here. And you do have to give a good amount of force. So for those of you who like more backbone uh, in your knots over 
something that's super soft and splays really easily, this is a good option for you. And a part of that backbone is coming from the, um, the density of the knot too, which is quite nice. Now I did mention that this is the Silk Tallow Base, which is just the nickname for the latest iteration of their soap base. Uh, this is the first major change in Chisel Face uh, Shave Soap Base, in, as, as far as I know. And from word of mouth, um, the owner artisan Ron Weeb went through, I believe, over 50 iterations of test soaps before arriving on this formula. In case you are um, a label reader and interested in ingre ingredients, I'll be sure to include the ingredients of this soap in the description below. Well, the other thing I do want to mention is, although I did a test lather, um, when I first got the soap, this is actually my first shave with it, with Ghost Town Barber. So you're really getting my first impressions. It also might mean this lathering process is taking a little bit longer. You can see probably that it was we want it initially really dry and it's still rather pasty. So we still have some work to do. But while I'm building that lather, I hope I can dispense some information uh, to you if that's helpful. As I'm lathering this, the scent of the soap, it's opening up. This is, uh, as far as scent strength, I would say it's a notch above medium, maybe a six out of 10 or a seven out of 10. Let's, let's go with seven out of 10. <laughs> and at this point where off the tub, uh, the barbershop, aspect of it was stronger, the leather has definitely come to the front. It has become kind of like this, the star player as I'm lathering this guy up. It is getting messy in here, but I was warned by my fellow daily, daily shavers who have used this, uh, that this is a thirsty soap and can handle quite a bit of water. So you can see here, it's not a super voluminous soap. Like many, many of the American artisan uh, shave soaps as of late. They tend to be low volume uh, compared to kind of the Santa Claus beard type lathers of the past. I think that's helpful to know, uh, you know what your, uh, what the look you're going for um, when building this lather. I do apologize in advance if I do seem a little tongue-tied. It's a uh, it's the evening on a Monday night. Mondays where we are trying to shift shift modes, and sometimes my brain gets a little frazzled. <laughs> Doesn't mean. We can, we can have fun with this, and a nice shave is a good way to kind of relax from uh, from a long day. I'm just gonna wash my hands, and then we'll get into the shave here. All right, here's a closer look. Working with two days worth of beard growth. 
Oh, and inside the Gillette Tech, we have loaded a feather blade on its second shave. I really do love this combination. Um, really any mild razor paired with a, with a feather blade. Very smooth and efficient at the same time. So if that's a combo that I've never tried, I highly recommend it. It's uh, the lather is super slick. The razor's just gliding along with no problem. I really have to say I'm I'm surprised how yeah how much the leather really came out um, into the forefront. I do have to say that it's a scent that I, I do enjoy. One thing, while I did call it uh, a very masculine scent, it's not overly musky. I, I feel like a lot of the uh, a lot of the old school scents, particularly I'm thinking of kind of like the drugstore aftershave type scents, tend to be really musky to, to an overpowering degree, to my nose at least. Th this is not that. It's, it's masculine because I think um, it just conjures images of uh, kind of, you know, raw, raw hide leather. It's strong, but, but balanced because again, that kind of, that barbershop DNA is in there to, to kind of play against that. It's, it's pretty harmonious to, to, to my nose at least, but first past, first pass. Very good. I'm gonna rinse off and we'll get to my against the grain pass. I think we have plenty of lather still. So one cool thing about, uh, I mentioned earlier, the flagship line of Chisel Face and really what was their, um, the sense that they launched with when they kind of first you know, started putting soap out there. It was this one. Uh, Ghost Town Barber. It was Sherlock, which my fellow Daily Shaver Bo uh, reviewed just recently. And lastly, I believe Stag uh, was the third one. And obviously they've added a lot more scents uh, of all different varieties and types um, since the launching, but those three in particular is what they started with and what they're most well known for even to this day. Now I've smelled all three and both, yeah, both kind of have this, um, I would say it, it is, you know, this artisan's interpretation and modernization of some really, you know, really well done masculine scents. So this one has that leather, um, le le you know, leather forward note. Both, you know, that leather and barbershop are very classic. Sherlock has a wonderful tobacco note and kind of comes off like a very, very nicely blended cologne. A nice balance of warmth and sweetness. 
And lastly, you have stag. And I forget what the notes of, of stag are. If it's per particularly musk, but I know it's a, it's a very, very, it's the boldest of the, the three scents. With a name like stag too, I think the, you know, the, the setting of like hunting and hunting in the outdoors maybe that's sort of gun smoke there, there's a, a number of really uh, I would say like dark notes in that one so if, you, if you've never heard of of chisel face I definitely encourage you to kind of look into you know these 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 three scents that they they really made their name on they're definitely worth checking out So I wanted to work this lather a little bit more. Okay, I'll rinse my hand off because it's, it's a hot mess. And we'll get into the, I guess, the grain pass. I do have to say my first impressions of this soap are very good. And as I mentioned before, with over 50 iterations, um, Ron from Chisel Face, I know is really meticulous and cares about the product that he puts out there. Personally, I, I do I do like kind of those stories. It, it does give me added appreciation um, for the products I use. But I'm curious. Let me know in the comments below. You know, do you like to know more about the artisans who are often actually very accessible via social media? Is that a factor for you um, when you're making your your choices? What soaps or aftershaves to try out? Or is there another metric or basis that you use to kind of figure out? what are you going to try next? I will say if you kind of do a deep dive into wet shaving, um, yeah, the, 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 whether they're razor makers, brush makers, soap makers, uh, these folks are, you know, oftentimes they are enthusiasts, hobbyists themselves who give a try, you know, give a try and want to contribute um, to, the, to, this way, to this way of shaving. I would say it's a, it is something unique. So as I rinse off, I'm just checking to see any spots I missed. I'm going against the grain here. It happens. It happens usually in the same spots, even when I'm mindful. <laughs> to make sure I get them. So I'm gonna finish up with a touch-up pass along the bottom here. For this, I go pretty much across the grain. And just clean that up. All right. 
Yeah. Very good first impression. Let me clean up and then we'll get to the aftershave and wrap things up. Like I said, very good first impression of the uh, silk towel formula for chisel face. As I mentioned before, we're gonna finish off with a Parasol Red Splash. Give that a few shakes, agitate that a bit. Get a few drops in there. So while not an exact match, uh, Parasol Red has that sandalwood and kind of has a barbershop to vibe to me too. So I thought it complemented well. I really do enjoy the scent of the, on this product as well. All right, so that was the shave with Ghost Town Barber. I am also really glad uh, I kind of took this thing out of uh, the Gillette Tech, uh, the fat handle. What do you call it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I hadn't used this in a long time. And for you know, vintage razors, um, I definitely lean towards modern, but this one never disappoints. And I, I'm, I'm really glad kind of I, I you know, dust, dusted this one off for today uh, to, to try with the shave. So that's it. Um, I hope you guys found today's shave helpful. If you do have any questions, I do, you know, I'm checking. So if you have any questions about any of the products used in the shave, uh, please let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.